such a tremendous looking trophy. Hello and welcome to Platinum Persuasion, number one PlayStation podcast in the Oceanias. My name's John Blight and joining me, as always, Ashley Holby. Hey, John, excited to be here and excited to, uh, you know, commit ourselves to our new overlords. Correct. We will be committing ourselves to new overlords just soon. Also, I want to apologize. I believe I just said As- Asley. I think I missed the, the Listen, H. Dylan, I'm never going to give you up. I'm never going to let you down. <laughs> <laughs> I said it and you didn't even... I was like, he's going to call me out now. But I was like, I'm pretty sure I said As- Asley. Yeah, anyway. I don't um, know. I'm, I'm just as guilty of saying those kind of things. So, excuse me. Yeah, I'm not just, Kieran. I'm not going to, like, pick apart every mistake you make. I know, like a uh, language, you know? Yeah. Words. And the thing is, I have to spend all day talking usually, and by the time I come, I, I come in here, I'm like, just let me skip a few syllables every day. <laughs> <laughs> like, give me a noun. Yeah. Give a brother a noun, you know? <laughs> yeah, let's just talk about the peace station. Yeah, that's right. The peace stat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Overlords, let's get right into it. So, Kotaku, right, Sony names, PlayStation's new bosses. Sony has named existing company veterans Herman Holst and Hidaki Nishino as the new heads of PlayStation. Holst will take over and run a new studio business group, while Nishino is in charge of the platform business group. The vision of roles replaces former CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment, Uncle Jim Ryan, who retired. Sorry, I did not Uncle Bob. Uncle Jim Bob, who retired earlier this year and comes as Sony searches for its next PlayStation 5 blockbuster amid cost cutting and cancellations. Quote from Shuhei on Twitter or X, whatever we call it. Sony Interactive Entertainment is a dynamic and growing business that delivers incredible entertainment entertainment experiences through the connection of content te- technology the sorry I'm this she has said congratulations my fucking internet flicked out here this is from a press release mm. um content and technology interim sie ceo hiroki Totoki said in a press release these two leaders will have clear responsibilities and will manage strategic direction to ensure the focus remaining on depending deepening engagement with existing PlayStation users and expanding experiences to new audiences. Both will continue reporting to to Totoki, who is also Sony's president, COO and CFO. CFO. Um, So, of course, we all know Herman Holst by now. Um, He got moved up years ago, originally head of Guerrilla Games, Killzone, Horizon. Uh, Holst was promoted to head of PlayStation Studios in 2019, following the departure of Sean Layden. Um... But, 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 but. Nishino was previously in charge of place platform, PlayStation platform technology and experiences, which he will continue to lead, in addition to now being in charge of third-party relations and commercial operations. Both men take over their new roles on June 1st. What do you reckon in this news? The big PlayStation news of the week. We've got the big we, PlayStation news of the week is the two people are doing the same job, just with a different title now. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what do, what do you make of the, the instead of getting one person to, to do it, but the splitting? I mean, Studio finally, a position at the top of the, top of the food chain is cut, instead of all these jobs at the bottom. You mm. know what I mean? True. Good point. Good point. You don't need a overall CEO and then these or, two people doing their current jobs. Just, are, these, are both these people getting paid the same amount? that I imagine Jesus. they're getting a pay rise. <laughs> Yeah. I don't I don't think they're both making the same amount as Jim Ryan. No. I don't know. I don't know if they're willing to disclose their paychecks and that kind of stuff, but no. um you know. Is this a cost cutting move? <laughs> no? They're like we will You're not C O O or C O O, so we don't have to pay you as much. So Could be true. Could be true. Um yeah, I mean I I think I mean, Herman Holst was the, I guess, a lot of people's go-to uh, thought, like, when people were trying to pick people's names out of the hat, simply because he has been... Just because he's the most known person He's the most in the, known the, and recent hire, or at least recent move up the chain at PlayStation yeah. to have success in his role. Well... Obvious, uh, yeah. obvious success, I guess, would be the 
yeah, like no, known success, public success, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know, you know, like, um, whereas, so it seems to me, and I guess the job titles are still, it's a little bit vague to me exactly how they're split, but like, one's in charge of, well, I guess, I don't know, I'm trying to. Herman Holtz is in charge of what he was currently in charge of, first party studios, as well as all the, as well as PlayStation productions. Yeah. Everything else is taken care of by the other guy. <laughs> yeah, so the other guy gets to build third third party partnerships. And the next PlayStation. Or yeah. PlayStation Pro. And accessories. And, and accessories. And headsets and so have you. Right? That's microtransactions, that's yeah. Microtransactions. Right? That is that what is that basically? I think he, he is probably in charge of PS Plus. That's who we have to blame. Yeah, we've got a shitty, name. Ga- shitty games get added on the month. Who are we blaming? Not Holsty? Unless first party games get added. We're, blo- we're blaming the Sheena. Yep. The Sheena sign. The Sheena sign. Give us better games. <laughs> How do you reckon? Let's say PlayStation do uh Because straight away, for some reason, you know, all, all the things to care about when this was announced the other day, I'm like, okay. So. You know what? That's good because if they ever do like a PlayStation experience again, that means you know it's what it's not one person ho- like coming out and hosting it. <laughs> it's two people. Maybe good, good for them. But yeah, good news, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I'm sure Jim Ryan's there. Like, oh, need two people to replace me. You know, I'm sure he's happy about this development, but you know. Hopefully, I mean, in the end, the chairman's still the top of the food chain. So, I mean, yeah, he's not making the decisions, though. No, no but not, you know, he's not making the the these decisions, the day to day stuff. You know, he's still the, st- the stuff head that, of the table. The fuck that Jim Ryan fucked us on. Yeah, he's not making those decisions. So, mm. yeah, good for them. Anyway. Good for them. Good that it's they've come to decision reasonably quickly. I guess yeah. my biggest thing is so. If we have a showcase in June, as rumored, some sort of yep. summer game fest ish time thing, right? Mm-hmm. A couple of weeks away, probably. Presumably. Like, well, at least in the next four weeks, presumably. The plans and actions within that obviously aren't. They, they're sort of from a, a, a lack of any sort of current leadership, right? You know what I mean? There's, 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 you've had someone there, but someone who's already got. A lot of other stuff on his plate. You haven't you haven't had anyone since Jim Ryan stepped down. There hasn't been like someone full in the trenches, right? You know. So I'm sure. like, how much how much can I expect? I don't know. It just depends on how much they got. How should much they want to show? Should I put my expectations low? Yes, because then you'll be pleasantly surprised if it's good. I think I'll be highly disappointed, no matter what. Anyway, that's just PlayStation fucking me at all points. You know, you know, you're gonna be disappointed when the showcase is uh, Concord and Fair Games and uh, what's the Silent Hill? Yes. Wouldn't you? I'm open-minded. <laughs> no, you're not. I know that you're not. You're a liar. Is what you are. You're a fucking dirty liar. You would be very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> but next year next year I get to full it from June 1st any decisions in the coming months I mean maybe they start on June 1st so they can record the fucking conference <laughs> that's, the that's, the the first, that's the first thing they're gonna do that's the first thing they're gonna film that showcase June 1st they're gonna film the showcase right maybe There's weirder things weirder things to do all right, anyway, we'll see what they can do. Good for them. Congratulations. Congrats. Your $10 million paychecks, whatever. Uh, PlayStation Plus game catalog for May. Yeah, extra and premium slash deluxe. Deluxies are here, everyone. So, Red Dead Redemption 2. PS4, of course. Deceive Inc. PS5. The Sims City. Sorry, The Sims 4 City Living. PS4. Requires The Sims to play. Fucking great. Crime Boss Rock K City PS5 
The Settlers, new allies to PS4. Stranded, Allied Dawn, PS4, PS5. Cat Quest, PS4. Cat Quest 2, PS4. The Lego Movie 2 video game, PS4. Watch Dogs, PS4. PlayStation Plus Premiums. Two Extreme, PS4, PS5. G Police, PS4, PS5. Worms fucking Pinball, PS4, PS5. How do we, uh, how do you rate this, this bumps? I mean, I mean, it's pretty solid, I guess, you know? Red Dead Redemption 2, I mean, that's a pretty big gut, you know? Massive game, uh, critically acclaimed by a lot of people. Um, that's really good. Uh, obviously smart time to get the, uh, cat. Cat quest. Yeah. The cat quest game's out with the, the third one due soon. Letting people catch up <laughs> on the franchise. Not that I think you need to. Yeah, there's deep, deep lore of it. I don't know if there is deep lore. Yeah, huge lore. Uh, you know, there's Crime Boss City, Crime Boss Rock A City, you know? Yep. The game that everybody slept on, decided not mm. to play. Now yep. you can play it for almost free. Yep. Get my subscription. You can check out what Vanilla Ice is doing in that game. What anybody's doing in that game. <laughs> Pretty avo month, I think. Like if you if you take Red Dead Redemption out of the picture, right? Mm. What's the what's what what else you got going on? Uh is Deceiving. Is that releasing for the first time on console? You don't even know what that is. It's an online game. It was on, it was on Steam. It's it on Steam. Yeah. Popular for a week, right? Fucked if I know. But the fact that you're like, popular again. Uh, is that first uh, what else you got? No, that's all I got. <laughs> yep, that's all I got. And by the way, that is, yes, it's coming to, it comes out May 21st, so it's straight to. Come on, Watch Dogs, finally. <laughs> Fucking okay. the first one. Wow. No PS1 classics? They, they, they've released all the PS1 good ones. There was only 10 games on okay. PS1. Ever. Yep. Fuck. They put out every siphon filter, medieval, mm. twisted metal one and two. Done. Call it a day. Why bother? Let's move on with our lives. Yeah, no, I think it's ever. Obviously, I haven't played any. I haven't played shit here. My my pick would be Red Dead Redemption. I haven't even played it. What else am I going to pick? Worms Pinball. I don't think so. Press that like, like, likes. Press that like, sure. Press that right. Uh, PlayStation looks to have formed a new studio with a number of <gasps> deviation staff. Can't wait until they close this one down. Uh, deviation <laughs> Games, which was started back in 2021 by ex-Call Duty developers Jason Blundell and Dave Anthony, was set to work on a new AAA PlayStation exclusive. Found itself a casualty of the ongoing unrest in the video game industry right now and shut it before its debut project could even be revealed. Now it's been reported that a number of the former Deviation staff have rejoined to form a new studio, once again led by Jason LeBondel, and this time as part of PlayStation's own stable of studios. Potential news was picked up by a recent area and shared on the Gaming Leaks and Rumors subreddit after outspoken former Deviation technical director Michael Anthony commented on the potential news during a post on LinkedIn, which reads, quote unquote, hey, I hear a lot of previous Deviation employees have set up their own studio at Sony, working on undisclosed new IP. I mean, isn't this ridiculous? Like, like good kind of. Them, like, if it's really yeah. like getting the jobs, but the fact, like, the the the, the cycle is currently they closed the studio, studio closed but studio. hired all the people to set up a new studio. Why'd you close? What what the fuck are we doing here? You know, well, to be fair, the one key thing is there's only one of the two founders listed. You know, still, what the fuck are we doing? So maybe they just close the studio, and get him out. You know. Don't want to throw any wild theories at uh at uh Dave Anthony, but you know it's a bit odd. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Why wouldn't you just keep, <laughs> keep the studio alive? You know, sure, cancel whatever game they're making that isn't doesn't fit your. They were making a first-person shooter multiplayer yeah. game, and now they're going to make a first-person shooter multiplayer game. 
You don't know. It might not be. They're going to call them Reignited Aviation Studios. They're going to call them Aviation Studios. It'll be Deviating Studios. Deviated. Deviated Studios. It's like, what the fuck? Anyway, this is dumb. It's fucking dumb. Good luck to them, you know? Listen, I'm fucking sick you know, of is it dumb like- if people get hired? Do you know? It's fucking dumb, ass. Don't hire it. Listen. <laughs> I look forward to, in a couple of months, it turns out that everybody at London Studio was... If you don't was, uh, hire them, then you can uh, fire them. Yeah. No, everybody at London Studio suddenly gets uh, hired for a new team. It's PlayStation. Yeah. I'm fucking sick of it, to be honest. I'm fucking sick of it. I mean, if, if Sony's hiring, they should just go hire all those people who just got the sack over at Tango. <laughs> fucking... At the moment, I'm pretty sure you could just you could call take it waltz, a step in step games. in any direction, step in any direction in the video game industry. You know, just, That's you know, true. Step yeah. in some studio that's just been fucking fi- uh, hired, fired, and then hired and fired and hired. Yeah, fired, fired, fired. Ridiculous. Video game industry is a joke at the moment. Anyway, um, new PS2 emulator appears to be imminent on PS5, PS4. Right, press. Sorry, no, push square. My bad. Here's some potentially huge news unearthed by the eagle-eyed Kamatsu. A new PS2 emulator appears to be imminent on for the PS4 and PS5. As many of you already know, Sony has been gradually deploying PS1, PSP titles on the PlayStation Store as PlayStation Plus premium subscription and with releases boasting video filters, quick save and rewind. Well, now a new PS Store listing for Star Wars The Clone Wars. Fuck yeah. Suggests support may be expanding to the PS2 with the product listing confirming all the aforementioned features for the Pandemic Studios developed 2022 outing. Quote, this title has been converted from the PS2 version to the PS4 and PS5 consoles and provides newly added features. End quote. The port is due out on 11th of June. Sony temporarily did release a frong. What a word, frong. A PS2 titles on PS4, but the emulation was largely very poor and it lacked all of the additional features mentioned above. This sounds like it's sort of the start of a new initiative, which will hopefully see more classics converted to the Japanese giant modern consoles. What do you reckon? Yay or nay? Bullshit or not bullshit? What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your I don't sniffing? know. What you sniffing out there? I don't know. I don't really care. It, am I going to be able to put my PS2 disc into my PS5 and play it? No. Well, then what do I care? You know? <laughs> do I really want to buy... No, you wouldn't buy it. Cop- it would be part of your deluxe slash extra subscription. So they're going to add an extra three games every month that I'm going to have to wait? Like, well, at the moment, they put out... Six years like, till I get one It seems one. like I, I play for fucking deluxe, and every three months they, they give me one PS1 game. So I, I feel like at the moment my value is getting royally fucked. So, yes, mm. add, add some PS2 games. And I think maybe... They be, if they put the price up, I was like, the value wasn't even there as is. You should be thanking all of us who have saved, subscribed <laughs> the past 12 months and now add the PS2 games, you fucks. You know? Is there a PS2 game you desperately want to play? The Clone Wars. Now, you may be like, Dylan, surely it can't be good. The answer is no, it's not a good video game. However, <laughs> it is a Clone Wars video game. And I originally played it on uh, Steam, where it sort of ran like ass, to be honest, because it was one of those like really yeah. shitty PC ports. Um, so, yeah, I would actually play that. All the PS2 games off the top of my head. Because now you've watched the Clone Wars uh, TV series, so, you know, there's all this backstory that you've got to all these characters inside the game. No, no, no. The, 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 I mean, the game is the, the TV show. It came out like after the first or second season, right? So oh. it's, not, it's not the movie, the the Attack of the Clones. It's the Clone Wars video game. Like it's 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 the animated series game. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you got you got little Soaker and everything in there. Um, Killzone One. Hmm. Disappeared to the ether. ether. I don't know if that's ever, but that's like part of a big lineage that I don't think could get ported over. Um. Grand Theft Auto games. Now they did bring those out. Can you already play them? Yeah, but they were some of the shitty ports. I would <clears> love <throat> with some of the more fe- the additional features because they make playing they make, they make fucking those rewind features and stuff like that. They make fucking around in these games more fun. 
it makes it just like when I'm replaying, when I've fucked around in those siphon filters and stuff, the, the fact that I'm like, I've beaten these games before and I just want to play them for fun. And then I die and I go, well, I'm not reloading my save because I don't give a fuck. And I just rewind until I did die. And I pick up from, mm. from playing from there. You know, I like all that stuff. Cause I'm like, I'm just playing these for nostalgia, right? You know, basically any PS2, PS1 games I want to play are, are games that have all, I've got memories with. Or they would be games that I would love to just check out for the first time and stuff I've never played. Um, I mean, they would have to continue. They've put out, I think, both Ape Escape games and PS1. So it's like, add Ape Escape 3. You know? Get onto that. Um, Simpsons Taxi. Crazy Taxi, whatever that game was. Simpsons Hit and Run. Give me trophies for that. Um, I don't know. Have you got? I don't know. Have you got anything? No. Did you even have PS2? No. no. No, I did. Did you? Mostly sports games. Of course. That kind of stuff. Fucking nerd. Um. Yeah. Ridge Racer. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Done. PlayStation production shoes. Everyone's shitting on the Last of Us TV series. Uh, it's been it, they recorded an hour of footage the other day. People snuck in, prep parts, got photos. We we hate it. It's terrible. They've already ruined it. They've 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 done they've done it. Ash, have you seen what they've done? No, you haven't seen what they've done. Oh man, just went too fucking loose. Ellie and Dina's Last of Us season two set photos spark age discrepancy. Right, dual shockers. The Last of Us fans, I think they should have fans in quotation marks, but anyway. The Last of Us fans have finally got a look at Bella Ramsey and Isabella Maseed, Maseed, as Ellie and Dina in some new sneaky photos taken of the pair on the set as they get stuck into season two of the much anticipated HBO series. The images show newcomer. She's not really a newcomer. Like, she's fucking Dora Explorer, right? Wasn't that, isn't that who she was? Yeah, she's been around for a little while. Yeah, newcomer. Yeah, she's she in the hit movie, uh, Madam Web. There you go. Was she really? She was one of the yep. spider, the spider girls. There you go. So you come. She was the one next to Sydney. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's cool. Um, uh, Seed and uh, Ramsey walking through what looks like to be a forest while to- a talking, taking a break between scenes. As with most things on the internet, especially Twitter, folks can't just seem to be happy to see these two together at long last and more cut up in how Ellie looks like she hasn't aged from season one. In the set images, we see Bella sporting a change in hairstyle. As she jumps, Ellie's pulled back look from part two and proceed with long hair, which is different from Dina's pony style look she's seen wearing in the second game. The issue that a lot of fans seem to have is that Ellie doesn't look like she has aged from when we last saw her in season one. Quote, I'm sorry, but Bella looks exactly the same as in season one. We need an older looking actress for season two. In the game, in the games, Ellie looks worlds apart. Expressed. Alex underscore three four three in images Twitter comments. Another comment highlighted that quote both Ellie Dina look way younger in these images than in the game, and it just seems off now. In the last verse, Ellie was fourteen years old, and in part two, she's five years older, making her nineteen, leaving fans confused about why she still looks the same in leaked photos. Why do you reckon she looks? Why do you reckon she looks? Um, she doesn't look like she's aged five years. Ash. Um, probably, I'm guessing. Mm, have a guess. Because they only film these things two years apart. I reckon that's part of it. I reckon, I, I, I done the maths, right? And I, re- I, I added it up and I said, well, if it's only been two years since the show, but she's five years old, like older in the game, the math says there's a three year fucking gap there. That's crazy. Fucking ridiculous. It's now, crazy. Here's the other thing that I think is crazy. Mm hmm. Ellie's 19 in the game. Bella Ramsey's fucking 20. Okay? That's crazy. What? You so telling me the- somebody doesn't look like their age? Yeah. Because you're 54, but you only look 35. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so if Bella Ramsey is 20... Yes. And they're 20. I Googled. Google doesn't lie. 
2003 they're born, right? Fuck. And if, <laughs> <laughs> you feeling older? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if Ellie's 19, then I think we all move the fuck on. That's that's my thoughts. I just want. Here's to- a crazy notion. Maybe there's a shorter gap between season one and season two of this show than there was in, you know, part one and part two of the games. That's fine. You know, they weren't doing anything interesting in those two years anyway. Oh, we're just hunting, you know, yeah, making fences. You know, what's exciting about that? Here's the thing that you could like, you could hire someone who's older. Who looks younger? Te- I, I, I don't know. I'm fucking. No, you're just getting to. You know. You're just getting. Which do you want? Do you want to wait? Do you want them to have waited five years until Ellie got. Until, you know. Bella Ramsey looked a bit older? You know? Or you just wait and they'd put some CGI crows, death, crow, wrinkles on her face, uh, and she'll look older then. Maybe that's what we're going to do. Maybe they just need to put some more makeup. Yeah. Yeah, it's all about dress. Hey, you hold yourself, that kind of stuff. That's what really makes you age. You know? I can tell you right now, you just when, when you know, we're watching, bend it, over Ellie, a little Ellie, bit more, and walk Ellie's a little like, bit slower. Ellie's like, "I'm gonna fucking murder these cunts." Fuck you. Then you, then you know. Yeah, when blood splattered all over his face. Yeah, you know. It's fine. We'll, we'll, everyone will move when she's on just then. stabbing all sorts of people. Yeah, it's fine. So anyway, you yeah, won't be I, thinking I kept, about kept, how old I, she is. <laughs> I kept saying this on Twitter. I did actually say I fucking saw this pop up on Twitter a lot this week for some reason. These photos, I was like, "Oh man, Ellie looks too young." Fuck off. Anyway, thank you for joining us on Platinum Explosion this week. <laughs> Number one podcast where I like to end it on a. Um, a note of telling sound people. note, yeah, not sound note. Just I like telling people to fuck to off, fuck off, the telling the audience to fuck off. I, yes. I love the last story to be something where I, I, t- I, not everyone, just a very specific group of people. I like ending the show where I can tell that very specific group of people to go hmm. fuck themselves. That's one of my one of my favorite things. Put a story right at the end of the show about fuck boys, or, so, or you know, a specific group, and I get to end it and say, anyway, go fuck yourself. Thank you for listening to the show. Check us out, spokesnapper.com, spokesnapper.com slash Twitter. It takes you to our X page or Twitter page, whatever it is over there if you want to go yell about Bella Ramsey um, and be a fuckhead. Um, explosionnetwork.com slash Discord takes you to your Discord page. And if you want to support explosionnetwork.com or this podcast, explosionnetwork.com slash support takes you to our Kofi page. Every dollar over there helps keep the lights, mics, and sh- shit takes alive. Until next week. Every, cro- every trophy counts. What am I saying? Every trophy, whatever. You know, it's like language, language, words, words, verbs. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs>